Hey guys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a player model for your Guerrilla Tag fan game. So, the first thing you need to do is download Blender. I will give you the link in the description for the download. And then once you downloaded it, um you you will you will see this and then you will click on and then you'll click on this triangle which is the camera. Go here, right click it and then delete it. And also delete the light and now you have the cube and then you click on it go to this tool bench which is the modifier add one generate and click on subdivision surface and then put the levels viewpoint to two and then you press ctrl c v and this will be the head and this part will be the body so you click on this icon which is the scale and then you use the blue one to make it slim and after that you'll go up add mesh then you'll click on cube and then you'll add another modifier same subdivision surface and then you'll press s to resize it to make it small <coughs> and then you'll scale this and you'll make this long and then don't make them too long just make it like a good size for an arm then after that you'll copy and paste with c control c and v to make another arm and then you will put it right here and then right after that um i forgot to say this but then you'll go back to the modifier then you have to go on this i don't know what it's called but, you, but you'll go here then you press apply and then after that you'll click a and then you'll click the eye which will make all of them disappear this doesn't mean you, it's deleted because you, you can just click the eye then it'll appear again but now we're gonna make the hand so we're gonna add another cube then you'll click on tab and then after that you will click on the side and then you'll press you will hold e then it will extrude another cube and you'll do the same thing for the other side then you'll go on the top of those three hold down your mouse to select all three of them and then hold e again and then you hold down e again then after that you go on the top you click on the right face and the left face not the middle one because these will be the fingers then you'll hold e again and then you'll have the two fingers <laughs> and after that you go on the side like the bottom right side then you click on the face and uh and then you hold down E again and make it long enough and then you'll go on move tool and you'll put this up and go on rotate tool and rotate this with the red circle and after that you'll go on the modify tool add modifier and add a subdivision surface and as you can see it makes it like the real hand after that you will click on this face between the fingers and then you will like that make two of those you'll copy and paste them um you will rotate this one you'll rotate the other hand this is for the right hand and click on the left hand and then you'll hold s to make them small and then you'll click the eye for all the other body parts you will click on the left hand so and then you'll rotate it with the red Thing. and then you go and move tool then you'll move this close to the wrist then you'll copy and paste both of them then you put it over here and get the left hand and then you rotate it just like you did on the other hand and after that um click the base of the play model click a and then right click and then um click join and as you can see it's like a whole object as you can see I okay so now you want the texture so you click on your play model click on this wait no no click this one this is one then you go on the materials icon click new um, and then you click on the yellow image texture then you will turn black then you click on open then you oh my god I have so much stuff and join my discord server if you want the fur texture or if you don't want to join then just search it for yourself and then you click on a random fur texture which is mine 
then it, it will look a little i mean it, it looks good but like it's like the hands looks goofy like with the texture like like ew it's stinky i go to edit mode and then click on a then go on uv editing then select everything and click unwrap and then go to uv wait wait wait, wait. i might go to go here to uv and go to go to unwrap and go to smart uv project then just press unwrap just don't don't touch any of those and after that you're gonna make this as big as you want and then there you, you have your textures all set up but now where's the face so you're gonna go over here and select these parts and also go to edit mode first then right click then go to subdivide um if you want to then you can just hold e then just make like a more realistic face then you'll go to modifier then you'll just subdivision surface and there it's like the capuchin one and also if you, if you want to make the belly big um you select the faces then you hold e but if you want to make it like a hunchback and then you can do it like this <laughs> Wait, no, no. No, never mind, that won't work. All right, so you push it in like that. Okay, let's stop yippity yapping and let's put the face on this thing. So go in edit mode and select all the faces. Um, If some are not highlighted, then hold shift and select all the faces. Then go to the material icon and click on the plus, assign. Then it will turn white or any color. You click on the yellow thing, your base color. Then click image texture, open and and choose some random face that you can download from my discord server or sketchfab because i know there's some face textures in sketchfab because of the player models and stuff anyways without the yippity yapping let's go put on the face because it's been like five centuries of okay so we're gonna choose this face Ew, what is that it looks like yeah! so if you want to fix that then go to uv editing then you click on wrap and then you use the rotating tool to move this thing and then if it's too fat then you can just fix the scaling then you move this here then you click hold s to make the small to a good size if some parts of the face don't have the texture then you can just um then you can just highlight them and hold shift and click on the faces add the texture and click assign and there you go, there's your face. But you need to go back here and click on linear to closest if you want if you don't want the thing to look crappy like the quality. And now there's one more thing to do before we're done with the face. So we need to select all of the faces of faces, then go click to tab. <laughs> then you'll see this icon that says knife. You have to click on that. Then after that, um, you will click. So basically how this works, so if you cut here, you will see a line. Then it just cuts here. If you click it, it will cut, it will cut. So you have to do this for around the face, like this. And yeah, that's what you basically have to do. Now just do a time lapse because I don't wanna waste your guys' time. Then once you're done, you gotta click enter. Then you go to the move tool. And then you select all of the faces that were not cut okay and once you selected the faces that were not cut then go to the material and then click on and then go to and then click on the plus assign new click on the yellow your circle image texture and get the fur and put it on closest and there you got your face here but we're not done yet. We have to add the armature. Okay, I know this model looks like a penguin or something because of this roundy ass head. But anyways, we're gonna right click. Well, no, no, not right click. You're gonna go, go to add, then click on armature. Then you go on this stick figure that says d data. Then you go to viewport display and check in front. Then you'll see this then you'll go to tab which goes to edit mode hold g to make this get massive 
and then you hold E make a neck and then you hold E and use your mouse to move this around you hold E then you hold E then you'll make the shoulder and these are the arms hold E and use your mouse to move these same as the other one then after that you go on your hand so basically you will move your mouse tool and like stop it right here put one down here and add some around the thumb and around the fingers like add like at least three of those armature things i don't know what it's called but like put at least three in each finger two three same as the other one put three of the bones here and now once you're done once you're done go to object mode then click the armature click a then you gotta click Control p at the same time and then as you can see you said set parent to then you gotta find the option that says with automatic weight so you click on that and then you'll go on these shoulders bones then you click f2 and call this l shoulder because this is the shoulder oh my god i can't spell i should go back to first grade. so l shoulder and this one is right shoulder and this one you can call it l arm you can call this right arm and right forearm l forearm in this part you, you see this tiny tiny bone with connecting to the big ball <laughs> just big ball um click f2 and this will be the left hand same as the other one in it our hand and yeah you have your play model set oh <coughs> and now you have your play model set up guys wow and if you if you want to see if it really works then you gotta click on the bones and then you gotta go to pose mode and then you go to rotate rotating thing, tool and you can see the arms move around wow isn't that nice you got a working player model and yeah guys if this tutorial helped you please like and subscribe we're trying to hit 50k um until june but i don't think that will happen but please subscribe anyway hit a goal please i'll give you cookie i'll give you banana and before we end the video we gotta and before i end the video you gotta save it to put it on your unity i can't on your unity so you gotta go to file export fbx don't use any other file types only fbx because that's the perfect file type for a model then you can put it anywhere in your pc i'll put it on desktop okay you can call this whatever you want and yep yeah, that's yeah that's all so thanks for watching guys bye